Hello there all you wonderful people, it's Matt from Geeks Nostalgia here with yet another unboxing video for your viewing pleasure. And today on the channel it's something a little bit different, it's not from Hasbro, it is from McFarlane, it is their DC Multiverse line John Stewart's Green Lantern figure. So, let's not waste any more time, let's free him from this plastic prison and see what we have inside. Okay, here he is, guys, our John Stewart Green Lantern figure from McFarlane. As you know by now, we take a closer look at the box before we tear it all open, recycle the packaging, and display our figure proudly. Let's start with the front. We've got the plastic window packaging. We can see our John Stewart figure in there. We can see the accessories. We do have some builder figure parts in there. I'm not really fussed about the Frost King. I won't be collecting the rest of the line to build him. We've got the DC Multiverse logo, Green Lantern John Stewart at the bottom there. Tools the top, my framing is awful. 12 plus, we've got the McFarlane Toys logo at the top there. On the side, we have John Stewart Green Lantern from Justice League Endless Winter. On the other side, same stuff, just a little bit smaller. On the bottom of the box, we've got the various warnings um, and copyright stuff from DC and Warner Brothers. And on the back, we have bizarrely a portrait of the Frost King and all the parts we can have to get to build him. Again, I'm really not fussed about him. I will not be getting him at all. We've got the other figures you need to get. So we've got Wonder Woman, a Batman in a big uh, winter jacket, looking very sharp and a black adam again i probably won't be getting those i just wanted this guy so let's not waste any more time let's free him from this plastic prison and see what figure of goodness we have inside and so here he is freed from his plastic prison our john stewart green lantern figure as you know we take a closer look at the accessories first before we take a closer look at the figure We've got the Builder Figure parts to the Frost King. Again, I'm not going to get the parts to make him. But it's a pretty cool head. I like that translucent blue on his horns, but I don't like him enough to get the whole figure. We've got some Green Lantern constructs. A couple of swords. Lovely translucent plastic. I do like some translucents. But the figure. Oh, we do have, as per usual with McFarlane, a trading card and a base. I'll get those out at another time. But the figure himself. I mean, he looks awesome, doesn't he? Really? I mean, the detail on his face. I know it's based on a comic book, but you'd think he's based on an actual like actor or something. He looks fantastic. I love the color of the green in his eyes. I love the detail on his face. I'm very impressed by this. I'm really impressed with the details on the costume. It looks fantastic. I can't see any kind of paint slippages, any mistakes, anything like that. He looks awesome and he feels awesome as well in the hand. But as always, we take a close look at the articulation. Head goes that far up. Head goes that far down. Head goes all the way around. Arms go pretty far up. It's more of a Y pose than a T pose. There is a joint just below the shoulder to do the twists, but McFarlane being McFarlane, they do be stiff. A double elbow joint. Wrists do sort of go up and they do sort of go down. They're on a different kind of joint than I've ever had before. They're kind of like a locking mechanism there. So they don't have the full kind of wrist articulation. We do have a bit of an ab crunch. It goes that far forward and it goes that far back. And a twist at the ribs. But again, McFarlane being McFarlane, they do be pretty stiff. Let's go about that far out. It's not a great range of motion. A double knee joint, ball joint on the ankle. So they do go up, they sort of go down, but a ball joint means they go all the way around. And toe articulation. And as per usual with McFarlane toys, he clocks in at a big seven inches in scale. Final thoughts on the figure. I am very, very impressed in particular with the face sculpt. I think he looks fantastic almost lifelike it is a great detail on his face costume looks awesome again with McFarlane the joints are pretty pretty stiff 
while recording this video, a couple of things did ping off, which I managed to get back on. But yeah, McFarlane just need to work on their articulation a little bit, I think. But on the whole, very, very impressed. He will make a fine addition to my collection. And there we go guys, that was the DC Multiverse John Stewart Green Lantern opened up, ready to join that small but slowly growing McFarlane collection. There are quite a few McFarlane figures I do have my eye on, with some coming out over the next few months that I would like to add to my collection. But for now, if you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting that like button. While you're down there, consider doing that other wonderful YouTube stuff, like help make the channel grow. Share, subscribe, comment, it's always massively appreciated when you do. But for now, thank you so, so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, take care of your fellow humans, and I hope to see you all again soon.